a fast after a workout, eating a lot last night. I always eat a lot at night. That's my plan. And this is a smoothie to boost your energy, boost your digestion, maybe trigger a bowel movement, reduce bloating, reduce water retention, increase the mood. This is spinach and Swiss chard and maybe a little lettuce that I froze from my garden, fennel from the garden, and then I added watermelon, which I froze because I couldn't use it. I was at home and frozen strawberries. So basically, you just freeze whatever you need ahead of time, add it to the mix. If you're taking stuff from my garden, you know I have a lot of fennel and a lot of uh, Swiss chard to give away, even though I gave away a lot. Great idea to boost that energy maybe before a workout. You can drink this intro workout during your workout for more energy. You can drink it if you have to teach something, present something, you just need a little bit of a boost. This definitely, for me, um, boosts my cognition and I speak a lot more clearly than I am now. I didn't drink it yet. There we have it. I actually recommend this. It looks like this because the watermelon and the Swiss chard and spinach were frozen. But there we have it. Spinach, strawberry, watermelon, Swiss chard fennel. Very refreshing. If you ate a lot of garlic or you eat a lot of processed food, this will definitely freshen the body. And if you don't want this like so potent, uh, this is post-workout and this is very fresh. I'm going to add a little water. I would recommend taking a container like 20 or 30 ounces maybe fill it halfway with the smoothie and the rest water or water and ice. That's a way for, I'd say, the majority of humans to get this down. Most people wouldn't drink this straight like this, but I'd say with the watermelon and strawberry, it's really very pleasant and it's not too green-like. But for someone who's used to eating fast food, there's a curve of the taste buds are used to fast food flavors, not natural flavors. But if you're used to natural flavors, go ahead and just my, my beautiful lettuce that I picked from the garden that I planted over a year ago. And apparently lettuce just pops up. So if you have a square about this big, you too can grow all this lettuce. All you need is maybe two feet by three feet, which is a lot these days, I know.